Tropical Storm Iota made landfall over the coast of Nicaragua late last night and has since been downgraded to a tropical storm. 13.7 degrees north and 85.7 degrees west is the storm's current location as of 2 p.m. Eastern Time this November 17th, 2020. Wind speeds of 60 miles an hour or 95 kilometers per hour, a central pressure of 991 millibars, and the storm is moving 12 miles per hour due west or a bearing of 270. And we have no CDPS scale rating as of this time due to the storm not having any more forecasted landfalls. So again, that is 60 miles an hour and a central pressure of 991 millibars at 13.7 degrees north and 85.7 degrees west. The storm is 122 miles away from Puerto Cabezas, 129 miles away from Managua, 139 miles away from Tegucigalpa, 227 miles away from San Pedro Sula, and 271 miles away from San Salvador. There is a tropical storm warning in effect for Bluefield, Nicaragua, to the Guatemala-Honduras border and the Bay Islands. Here's the latest cone from the NHC. Uh, the storm is expected to weaken over land to remnant low status before dissipating over the eastern Pacific. However, chances of redevelopment are likely. Sea surface temperatures don't really matter anymore due to the storm being over land. However, it's not looking so good for the storm once it crosses over into the eastern Pacific to support redevelopment. Storm force winds are next, so we have a 90 to 100% ch chance for most of Nicaragua, with 5 to 10% chances extending all the way out to, Sa to El Salvador and just shy of the Honduras and Guatemala border if those areas that I've just mentioned are not already experiencing storm force conditions at this time. Diagnostic charts are next, so we have the intensity uh, leveling off if it hasn't done so already. Uh, the shear appears to be on the rise before a fall and maintaining that level after said fall. Sea surface temperatures, as I just said, don't matter, so they're not a factor right now due to the storm being over land. And the relative humidity is expected to fall very soon before once again leveling off. So here's the latest satellite imagery. The uh, storm is currently over land, but it is expected to weaken further as it makes as it makes its way further inland. Now, the scenes of devastation and heartbreak that we've seen here at Force 13 are absolutely catastrophic, and our entire team remains hopeful that everyone is safe and that the worst is finally over for Nicaragua and Honduras.